good morning guys welcome to today's video you may or may not have just seen my little yorkie puppy running across the room with her toy how tall am i you are about five 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 six five six so just a quick update before we start today's video ruby is accepting the puppy now <laughs> Molly, we can't see. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. Molly, you're okay. Molly is terrified of the puppy. Absolutely terrified. And then Daisy is friends with her. Daisy is friends, sort of. <laughs> ready? You ready, Mom? Yeah. She knows it. So, just a quick update. Um, she's doing so well. She's peeing in her potty. She's peeing in her potty. She's peeing on all the pee pads. She's doing really good. She's starting to poop finally. She was too nervous when she first came to poop. I put um, her hair up and put a jacket on her in the morning when we're just getting ready to go out. But I don't leave them on her. I take everything off at night so that she's comfortable. Nobody likes an elastic in their hair all day. So I take it out at night. Hi. And we brush her so many times a day because it's so fun. Everything's going really, really well with, with her. She knows where her little doggy pen is. She loves it. She doesn't like it with a door on it. She likes to be able to go in. She goes in there and goes to the bathroom and comes back out when she's ready. She goes in there to eat and drink. Her water's in there and she drinks all day long. How did a rope toy get in there? Oh, I threw it in there. She drinks all day long. Hi. And so this is just new today. Previously, <laughs> Ruby <laughs> has been, had to been running away from her, but Ruby is starting to finally let her play, let her <laughs> be annoying. It's okay, Ruby. It's been a hard transition for our dog. So what I wanted to show you guys before we go down to the barn is that I spent my morning making some bows. So I made this one. All it is is just some ribbons. It's it's just like a pretty pink ribbons. Um, I made this one. I put it on a hair clip. I made this one and I put it on a hair clip. And I made a red one because we didn't have any red ones. I have like some collars that I'm going to use in the future. This is purple. So I want to make some purple ones. We never leave Ellie with the dogs unchaperoned sh ever. Luckily, our house is small. We're always here with her. If somebody's not watching her, she goes in a dog crate. But it's really good. It's just going to be take time for the dogs to get used to her. <laughs> so one thing you guys don't know about me is that when I had my girls, finally, I had three boys first. And then when I finally had my girls, I was obsessed with them. I was obsessed with their hair. They were born with thick, black, long hair as babies. They had, like, a full head <laughs> of hair <laughs> it's just that when you look over and she's staring at you and she's got those black eyes and she's just sitting there and she's staring at you sometimes daisy overdoes it and she gets a little nervous she's not quite sure yet what to make of the dogs like daisy's playing but sometimes she gets nervous when she runs into her bed the dogs know not to go in there. Anyways, I had a million bows and hair bands and all, everything hair that I could have for my girls. I did their hair every single morning. They'd sit on my bed and I'd give them my phone. They would watch a video and I'd do their hair. And I did a different hairstyle every single day. And I did that till they were like, I don't know, eight or nine, till they stopped letting me. So one thing that was really neat was that I made a lot of bows and bought a lot of bows. And I also made like a bow holder so that I could like hang it up on on the wall and I could attach all the bows that had like ribbon down it and you attach all the bows to it so they could pick whatever bow that they wanted that day we could coordinate bows to their outfit so you all gotta know I'm gonna be doing that with Ellie because that's my thing hi <laughs> hi Ellie hi <laughs> it's that head tilt <laughs> that's your toy none of the dogs take her toy and I don't know if it's because afraid of her or if they just know it's her toy and they don't want anything to do with her I don't know <laughs> anyway our house has been a mess for like two days now because of the puppy having a puppy is no joke like I'm not joking it is no joke it's exactly the same as having a baby well not exactly the same obviously I'm not breastfeeding it but it's a, so much like having a baby like 
there's messes everywhere there's toys everywhere there's pee pads everywhere there's training there's like so i've never sat on my floor more times than i have in the last two days sylvia and i are headed down to the barn we're going to take ellie and introduce her to the horses and see how that goes and we're going to feed lunch i hate mud you guys mud is like my least favorite season i just want to show her to honey that's the only hope all right well you can show her to honey because honey's a baby and she's also a baby yeah i do think she'll be no just wait going first so ellie actually sleeps with me and it's been really good she sleeps all night she slept all night honey? Oh, you're oh see <laughs> she was getting a drink no she was looking salt lick oh she was looking the salt lick and sophie came in and said honey and she just turned around like crazy oh, back up back up like the, our pets are so pushy oh she's interested she's excited can you film oh, why can't i hold the puppy okay hold on because the puppy is my puppy look at the puppy she's like i smell food in your pockets all right all right so all we really all i really want is to expose like, Ellie to the horses. Our two babies. She's like, um, where's the treats? Yeah, they don't care about her. But I just want to expose her to them. She she wants to see. You want to see? Because, like I told you guys before, I bought a bigger Yorkie. Like she should be six pounds. Um, because I want her to like be active with us on our farm. I want her to run around. We have the paparazzi here you see them you see the paparazzi <laughs> all right i need to clean the arena clearly the horses have been pooping in here it's still wet in here but it didn't get super super bad we have a nice area so let's put her down let's put her down and see what happens i'm gonna have ellie <laughs> <laughs> honey's like <laughs> honey's like i would like you Honey, you need a brush. I know. She's always muddy now. Yeah, it's springtime. She's always going to be muddy. Aww, look it. Just make sure you can grab, grab that leash because... So our horse that's... Like, Hi, Allie, baby. Aww. Aww. We have to be really careful with Honey because Honey's a brave... <laughs> a brave girl she's a little scared right now good girl you're okay she's looking at me you're okay Willa's good with puppies. yeah she's really good with puppies you have to be careful with the baby because she doesn't know any better she might think it's like a baby and she can play with it and play rough Why are you going near her back? yeah we're not going to go near her feet so we're going to have to like look into how to train her we're going to have to actually look into a way that we can train that i can train ellie to be around the horses safely. I watched a video yesterday where a little dog the same size as Ellie's going to be ran to try and catch something that was hanging from a horse's saddle and then the horse stepped on her, kicked on her. It was one of those dumb ways to die. TikToks. If you wonder what's breathing on top of you, it's Gracie. <laughs> Gracie's like, what is it? Gracie's like, what is it? So, aw, she's ready to learn how to walk on a leash. You guys are cute. Be nice. Honey doesn't even care if Willow pushes Willow, her. Willow's like, it's my baby. Good girl, Ellie. So, it's actually a holiday today. It is family day. I know in the States they have like President's Day or something. But in Canada, we have a holiday today. It's called... Uh, family day families are encouraged to get together and do stuff so i told you guys that i'm going to this year for me is going to be about finding our joy like not concentrating on any of the bad stuff that happens or any of the negative things that happen in life i'm finding my joy and that's what this year is going to be about having ellie has brought me so much joy already like i can't even believe it i was so ready for a puppy honey really likes it but honey and penny and ellie like that's a lot. <laughs> Gracie. Did you say Willow? No, Willow's good. She's a different name. All the horses that end with I-E. Gracie oh. and Honey and Penny and Ellie. Oh. Ellie is hard to like get stuck in my head. What? I'm going to, I'm going to clean up all the poop in the arena 
and then I'm gonna bring the other horses in because it's family day like I said and we're headed out to a barbecue at my brother's house we're gonna spend the day with them and I want to introduce Ellie to Penny <laughs> gosh this is gonna be awful no Penny ends with a Y yeah but uh, Ellie they sound the same though so I'm gonna do that and then we'll be back with you in a few minutes when we bring the horses in I'll show you Penny's reaction. I imagine she's going to be like rude. <laughs> well, you can't even see her because she's so close to you. Girl. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're going to be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style. Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you You When I'm with you I can see how Having a puppy down here Is going to be difficult Especially like when it's cold Because <laughs> Keeping track of her She's like a whirling dervish I showed you guys Oh, she followed us in what do you think? It's a baby. Do you guys think that Penny's ever had a baby? So she's never walked on a leash before. And clearly, she's not scared. <laughs> I can really tell when we haven't worked with the horses for a couple of days, the difference. Now Willow was definitely a mama and this might look kind of like a baby to her. So tomorrow is horse day. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back with horse stuff tomorrow. All of our horses are going to get a good grooming. It's muddy. They all need a brush. It's still chilly enough that they can have blankets. I just really wanted Ellie to have an opportunity to come down and get like a smell for the horses and an idea of what they are like. But like with the dogs but she'll never be unsupervised with them she won't even ever be on a full leash with them until i feel confident that she's trained enough that i can recall her or that she'll listen to me and, and she's a little bigger like it's going to be a while fast forward tomorrow and and ellie's running free with the horses no just joking <laughs> so honey and chino are having checkups soon with our vet but I can already tell that Honey's uh, hasn't had any episodes of sticking stifles. In fact, she only ever had one when we first got her. Once we started like working with her feet and she started to mature, she never had a problem again. So that's super positive. I think she's doing great. She's, she's still a tiny bit peg-legged, but not like as bad as she was. She seems to really be growing out of all of her issues. I love she just comes walking over to smell her. I love that, Penny. It's a baby. She's my baby. Can you tell? Is that why you're interested? She's our baby. Maybe one day we'll ride with her. I'll ride with her on me. Mom. And she'll be our girl. I think it's safe to say Honey's reaching the bad stage. But she's still not doing anything really bad. She's just energetic. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Hello, Ellie. You want up? I really want the barn to be like a place like our dogs when they get most of our dogs when they see that they're coming down to the barn they're so excited I want the barn to be like who am I kidding I don't want her in the barn I don't want her in the barn I'm afraid most of her dogs like she's so unpredictable but I do want her to like have a positive experience in the barn so she's not scared of it but she's like a uh, uh, She's a baby and she really doesn't understand and we have no way to call her back yet, so we have to wait. It's gonna be a process. Don't you know that you're beautiful?